Hello and welcome back lovelies. Welcome for sure if you're new here. I missed you all and I hope that you had a good week. Sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. Here's what to expect. This week, I had to do a mini grocery haul. Here, I'm at Asda, one of the grocery stores in the UK. Maybe you will spot some products that you have in your part of the world, and you can compare prices. All I know is lately, prices have really skyrocketed. Veggies fast, some kales will do. Okay guys, this next one, if you know, you know. I used to know this as Chebda and I found it here and boy was I delighted. I love, love Chebda. I'm planning to make some pizza soon and this next item is necessary. This is 500 grams of minced beef, 10% uh, I think it's lean beef. I hope the prices compare. Always good to have bread at home. This is seeded whole meal bread. Very tasty. Eggs are a must on my list. I use eggs for so many different meals. I'm sure you do too. Let me know. Baked beans used to be dirt cheap. Now you have to think about it. I was recovering from a nasty flu this week. I don't know if this really helped. Maybe it's psychological. What do you think? Okay, for this next item, call me silly. But I think whoever came up with this idea is a genius. Let me tell you, when I saw these sweets or this candy, I was transported back to my childhood. Who else grew up on this stuff? Chupa Chups. Do you remember? Does anybody remember this? These dryer balls are ridiculously expensive. I don't know whether it's because they are made of pure wool, but I need them, so I'll grab a pair. I'm always confused when I come to this section because I love tea so much, but today was an easy pick. This is one of my all favorites. Okay lovelies, 
Let me show you the ridiculous prices of tropical fruit in this part of the world. For you lovelies who live in the tropics, thank God for organic fruit that you can find anywhere almost all year round. For these, it's always a hit or a miss. Sometimes they look good on the outside, but the inside is not so good. Today, I'm not convinced, so I won't have any. Finally done, let's go to the till and pear. done and dusted but who usually feels like this lady over here you can be so dead on your feet after a shopping haul that you want to ride on the cart yourself next was a short ride home let's sit back and just enjoy the beautiful scenery So lovelies, this week I was organizing my closet. It was long overdue. I should be putting away my winter wardrobe and bringing out the spring one. But spring is not quite springing yet and I have to keep the warm clothing for a little longer. So I just began by removing everything out of the closet. Can someone please tell me why we need all these clothes? At this point, I was wondering what on earth I got myself into. Have you ever started a project and then halfway through, you realize what a massive task you got yourself into? This was me on this day. I had to pull myself together and continue. I needed that bed in the evening to sleep, so it had to be done. What I've tried to do here is to organize according to color so that it's easier to put outfits together when I'm dressing up. This is much better, easier on the eyes and easier to pick my colors. This here 
is a handy scarf organizer if you're a scarf person. I love it. So easy to pick my scarves now. At this point, I was so happy with myself because I managed to do the bottom section as well. And the top section. Don't I just deserve a clap lovelies? This was the other side with the dark colors, the blacks, the blues, the grays, and the whites, and I don't know, the speckled. <laughs> All right, it's time to make that pizza. Sit back and enjoy as I make a Swedish savory pizza. I'm going to work the dough here, knead it for 5 minutes to activate the gluten. I'm oiling the bowl to prevent the dough from sticking. Then I'll just cover it and leave it in a warm place for an hour. The dough should be soft and fluffy. The idea is to press it out so that it fills that pizza pan or pizza tin in my case. I chose to use pasta sauce here, just spreading it all around evenly. And then I began to put in the toppings.
My oven was preheated. I baked the pizza for 20 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius, equivalent of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The pizza is ready. looks perfect doesn't it so this is why I bake my own pizza the crust is just never how you like it when you buy it from the shops they use minimal toppings and not to mention other additives that you may not know of the crust is just as thick as I like it looks scrumptious Let's have a taste and see. Yum! It really was delicious. Everything is just balanced perfectly. Because I won't eat all of the pizza, I will store the rest of it in the freezer so here I'm just preparing cling film to wrap it up or wrap the other pieces up and uh, store them in the freezer. That's now ready to go into the freezer. I had the pizza for dinner. I accompanied it with a cup of masala tea or chai and some simple vegetable salad. On the next segment, I want to share with you some gorgeous thrifted finds that I use for storage. This here is a vintage handcrafted wood box with a beautifully carved pattern on top of it. It normally sits on top of my coffee table and I store things I would like to reach out to easily while I'm lounging on the sofa. The next items are these elegant champagne colored raffia boxes with tassels. I use them for storage of beads and bulbs like buttons, safety pins, ribbons, any little bits that could be lying around the house making a clutter. Next is this vintage emerald and brass trinket box. It can even be a pill box. Look at that beautiful detail on the back and on the sides. It's truly a unique piece. You won't find many people with this kind of a pill box or a trinket box and here is how I use mine if I'm going for an overnight somewhere I don't need to carry my whole jewelry box I can just put in a few items and that's it this 
lastly this crochet coin purse is lovely it's beautiful the colors are vibrant I think the camera doesn't do it justice if you still carry coins around like myself this is what you need here I have it open so that you can see the inside it carries quite a lot of coins I'm usually quite surprised at how many coins I can stuff in there well that's it for today lovelies please press the like button and comment I'd like to know what you think subscribe for weekly videos if you haven't this will help for sure until next time bye